Hi, I'm Wayne Besson. I'm the executive director of the Twin Towns. Um, I think the dump truck took off a little bit quick. We want some, maybe you can take some enhanced like a rhetoric with it, you know, be better off. Um, I want to thank Equality Florida for having us here today to discuss one of the most important things we can in this anti-gay rhetoric coming from this conference. There are two ways to win elections. One is by appealing to our greater angels, and the second is, 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 a, is going for our lesser demons. And the people at this church putting on this conference are reaching for our lesser demons time and again, using hatred and intolerance and fear to win votes at the expense of other people. And we appeal to them to do as Jesus would, and that would be to appeal to something greater, which is love. Now they're going to pretend this is about love. And how are they doing this? By bringing in so-called ex-gay ministers who pretend they can pray away the gay. Now this is not love. They don't love us, but they do love discrimination, and the ex-gay ministries are an attempt to sugarcoat this discrimination and pretend that they actually care. It's sugarcoating and giving a kinder, gentler form of homophobia. Now why would they do this? It's very simple. Poll after poll shows that if you can convince people to pray away the gay, they vote against gay rights. If you can convince them it's who people are, it's part of their soul, very natural part of them, they vote for gay rights. So this is an elaborate effort to trick and fool Floridians and Americans into believing in ex-gay ministry so they vote against gay rights. It's really that simple, and it's no mistake that this is happening with this red meat conservatism in an election year, and also one they're trying to drum up votes against same-sex marriage. Now, what really bothers me, I think, is that these individuals I see back here aren't learning. I look at them and I think, which one's the next Ted Haggard? Which one is the next Senator Larry Craig? Which one's the next Bob Allen? And we know they're there, and we know they're hurting and suffering, these individuals, while they're smiling at us. We know that this whole attempt to try to be who you are not only backfires. It only destroys the family in the name of family values. You know what? I think we should focus on the family as well, but how about healthy families? Trying to force people into these marriages does not create strong families, it creates divorces in the long run. And we've seen this again with the leaders of the XK Ministries time and again, later either coming out of the closet or being caught in a scandal. And this is why every respected medical and mental health organization in America says that attempts to change sexual orientation are dangerous. The American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Psychiatric Association said attempts to change sexual orientation lead to depression, <coughs> anxiety, and self-destructive behavior. And this is exactly the type of message promoted in this conference. I thank you all for coming here. Let's not get fooled by the XJ trap. Let's not get fooled by the rhetoric. Let's call it for what it is, an attempt to sugarcoat hatred and intolerance. Thank you.